Not the giant wasps again. So you guys, today is another day in our house renovation series. And we are talking bathroom. I'm gonna show you how exactly my bathroom looks right now and what I'm planning to do to enhance it. But first, let me just sip on my bone broth in peace and eat the breakfast. Food, health, nutrition comes first. For breakfast, I'm having some salmon, avocado, and when I eat this, I'm gonna show you the bathroom. Salmon, a 10. Avocado, a 10. All in all, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Voila, here is my bathroom. And see, the thing is, I don't hate it, I just don't love it. The first thing I'm not super fan of are these tiles. There's nothing wrong with them. I like how big they are, they are quite modern. But they're just the same tiles everywhere, on the floors, on the walls. I would just love to have a bit of dimension, maybe some pattern, maybe a bit of white. But hey, it's not that bad. At first when I saw this bathroom, I thought, you know, we're gonna have to renovate this. But then when I kept thinking the sinks, the toilet, I really love those. I'm not a big fan of the shower, but maybe we can replace it going forward. Anyway, the more I was thinking, the more I figured that it would be kind of wasteful to tear this bathroom apart. Because it's not bad at all. It's very minimalistic, modern, it's an okay bathroom. Along the line, in 10 years, 15 years, maybe we would want to renovate this bathroom and we could do it then. But for now, we can totally make it work. And to make it work, we need to figure something out. The storage. The storage. Can you see any storage here? No, it's nowhere to be seen because there is no storage in this bathroom whatsoever. Only if you put something on the sinks, as you can see. So this is something that we have to work on. Because for the past four years, the thing that I was using for storage in my bathroom is this guy. I bought this thing with such a heavy heart because I don't like to support this plastic industry. But I urgently needed something to put my things in. When I don't need this anymore, I'm gonna put it into the garage, store some tools in it. It's gonna be used for a lot of years. But yeah, it's funny how I thought that I'm buying this for just a few months and now four years years later, this is still my pad. In order to solve the storage problems, we decided to have some drawers installed under the sink. Luckily, I was able to find some people that do custom-made furniture, they also design everything, and we made an order, it's already been manufactured, and it's currently on the way being shipped to us. I'm just crossing all my toes and fingers that it really fits perfectly under the sinks, and I'm gonna be the happiest person ever. There is one very cool feature about this bathroom. If you go through these doors, And if you go through that door, you come into this very secluded part of our garden and we have big plans for it. This would be such a cool spot to have an outside bed. I personally would like to have an inside bed as well. Because I see all these YouTubers having a self-care day, taking a bath. It just seems so cozy. And I've never had a bath like that. I've always only had showers. And this bathroom is big enough, but it also has four doors, which makes it a bit complicated. Where would you put things in, you know? So there's there's kind of no space for a bath. So one day we were thinking and we were like, wait a second, this part right here would be perfect for an outdoor bath. But you know, it is a big project. I have other priorities, so maybe one day. But one thing that it's very easy to install here, it's the outdoor shower. You go just around the corner and here you have everything you need for a shower. Here's the pipe, here's the stand thingy. The previous owner already had a shower installed here and we decided we wanna have it too. Cause I was thinking in the summer when it's very warm or after you do a work, out, you come here quick and easy, take a shower and the bathroom stays clean. But one thing is true, only cold water is coming through this pipe, so we are gonna have some cold showers, which are trendy right now and apparently very healthy. We take it. But also one tiny little reason why I wanted to have an outside shower is the YouTuber in me. The lighting here is so much better than in the bathroom. So when I'm filming morning routines, night routines, it will be just so nice to take a shower here. Although let's not forget that it's gonna be a cold shower, so it's probably not gonna be very nice, more like traumatic and stressful. But for the good lighting, you know I'm gonna do it. So last week when I was in town, I grabbed a new shower head and we are ready to install it. While waiting for bed drawers to get here, let's do a little haul. So you guys, I've done a... Can you hear this seagull? 
excuse that we are just having some background noise we gotta let this seagull live his best life so you guys i have done a little bit of shopping recently not too much i'm in a good girl but you know the sales were on and there were a few things that really caught my attention so I got them. This is gonna be a super quick haul. I'm just gonna show you everything, try it on, and let me know if you like to see this kind of hauls in my vlogs. I really love hauls. I love grocery hauls and I love clothing hauls. Homeware, decor, I'm not really into those things, but clothing and groceries, I approve. First of all, I got two graphic t-shirts. As you can see, I love me a nice, cozy, comfy t-shirt like this one. I'm so obsessed with this one that I'm actually saving it. I'm not wearing it as much as I would like to because I just love it too much. I know that's a bad, bad attitude towards clothing. You have to wear it in the moment because you never know what happens tomorrow. But sometimes I'm the kind of person that if I like something very, very much, I would save it for special occasions which never arrived. So don't be like me. The first graphic tee is this burnt orange one. I just love it. It says Earth Day every day. And isn't this the truest thing ever? I think it is. The next graphic tee is this grayish blue that says savage. I don't consider myself to be a savage, but look, maybe I wanna be a bit more savage. I bought a pair of white shorts last year in Zara and they're the comfiest, the softest shorts I've ever had. So that's why I wanted another pair. So I bought them and they're not the same. This material is not as soft. They're not plushy inside at all, but they're still a good pair of shorts. I got these shorts in white and also in green. White top, white sneakers, good to go. You like my green shoes? Short, say hi to our friends. Okay, we go, we go, we go. Yeah. Bye -bye. In one of my last videos, I told you that I ordered a pair of sandals and they've arrived and I love them a lot. We need some warmer clothes too because everything that I showed you so far is very summer. I live in cozy hoodies throughout the winter months. I wear them around the house. I wear them to go out. It's the only thing I wear. So I got this blue one. This hoodie is a bit more plain on the front, but don't you worry because the party is going on at the back. The next hoodie, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a fail. I mean, I love the design very much. We don't have that plushy material as with the other hoodie. And that is a big no-no, a big minus. However, since the material is not scratchy, I'm still gonna wear it, just not in the colder month. And lastly, we have probably my favorite purchase from this haul, and this is this beautiful blue hoodie with a zipper. This one says, always lazy, always lazy. Well, I wouldn't agree with that. I'm not a super lazy person. If anything, I'm a bit too active, I would say. But hey, this hoodie is everything I wanted. It is super thick, super soft, super warm, super fuzzy on the inside. You know, it's a bit sketchy with online shopping because you don't really know what you're gonna get. From these three hoodies that I bought, I didn't expect this one to be the win. And I also didn't expect this one to not be fuzzy at all. Anyway, this was my not so quick haul, but I still hope you enjoyed it. I thought I bought just a few things, but this is quite a lot of stuff. Oops. Guys, look what has just arrived. It's been September, October, November, December. It's been four months and finally the furniture is here. The guy that will install everything is on his way. Finally, I've been waiting for this day for so long. A few hours later. <sighs> As you can see, the units have been installed and I just can't, you guys. I just, I just cannot. Everything is going so wrong lately. You guys are probably thinking, Sara, what you're saying, the units look completely fine and they do look fine from this perspective, but they do not look fine from here. <sighs> Why? I have, no joke, ordered these units eight months ago. And after eight months of waiting, this is what I get. Chill, relax, it's gonna be fine. So it looks like the guys that took the measurements took the wrong measurements and now we have a nice disturbing hole under the sinks. Yeah. We ordered a double sink cabinet in this bathroom and also a single sink cabinet in the other bathroom. And guess what? There's a hole under the sink in that bathroom as well. There's so many things that are currently going wrong in my life. I don't even know what is going on? We had a part of the roof outside being broken by the wind. So we had to buy a new roof, which is yet to be installed. And where is she sitting right now? In the middle of our house. I almost cannot move around anymore. There is just so much stuff everywhere. We're still waiting for the clothing racks for the closet. So we cannot sort our clothes situation. We have boxes here, boxes there, stuff literally everywhere. As if that wasn't enough, a mouse has made a nest in our car. You know the front part where the motor is? Hello, can things just calm down? The car was kind of shaking weirdly, so we stopped, 
We opened up the hood and guess what we found? It was like Santa Claus was sleeping. <laughs> the mouse took the insulation from around the motor or something and made a little nest. I'm not gonna lie, that thing looked very cozy in there. If I was a mouse, I would like to have a nest like that too. Back to the units, so a carpenter is coming up in a few weeks to fix these holes. I don't know how they're gonna fix it. I have a feeling it will look just bad. We paid over 4,000 euros. That's a lot of money to then receive something that is just not perfect. I feel like I'm just way too nice. Are you guys like, you're not gonna mess up with me. I demand a refund. I demand a new cabinet. Or are you more like me and you're just, mm -hmm. it's okay, <laughs> it's fine, it happens. I should man up and just, you messed up, you fix it. I'm gonna work on it. Maybe for next time. I'm sorry that I'm complaining, you guys. I know I'm a very lucky person. I mean, at least I have a cabinet. At least I have a roof. At least I have a car. Things are gonna turn around from now on. I feel like this is the lowest point of how disorganized our home is. From here, we can only go up. Yeah, that's a good mindset. A few weeks later, the carpenter was just here. He fixed the holes with a piece of wood and I am, I'm shocked. It actually does not look that bad at all. Seriously, he did a great job. Let's see. Ta-da, here she is is obviously i would still prefer to have it without this little imperfection but you know what it's okay i am very very happy but yeah the quality is very nice we have two drawers under each sink one bigger and one smaller i feel like the inside of the drawers looks super well made with the glass the fake leather it looks very chic it's time to fill these babies up but to have everything nice and organized we need some bathroom organizers so let's go shopping Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. Yesterday, I bought all my bathroom organizers, which is kind of surprising for me because I'm usually super undecisive when it comes to things like this. Because you're committing to your organizers for, I don't know, 10 years. So usually I'm always like, I'm gonna also check the internet. Maybe another store has something better. But no, yesterday it was just, I saw, I grabbed, I bought. Because I need to sort out my life ASAP. So no time to wait. And that is what I call growth. So now it's time for a quick little haul. You guys know how I love to film outside, but it has literally been raining all night, so I don't wanna sit in a puddle while doing a haul. And it also looks like it's gonna start raining any second. So let me just get changed, maybe dry my hair, or you guys are family, you guys don't care how I look like, right? Never mind, I'm still doing the haul outside because in my house right now there is not a single corner that is not covered in mess. So this is just easier. But we're gonna have to be super duper quick because the forecast is already saying that it should be pouring rain right now, so... Let's go. I got three sets of this pretty black and white basket. We have a big one, medium, and a small one. I think this will go perfectly with the furniture because the drawers are white outside and black on the inside. So, love that. Then I got two small and two medium baskets in gray and white. Then I got three of these smaller transparent organizers. Two larger ones. And two even larger ones. I think these organizers are gonna be very handy, so I may buy more of these if I need to. The haul is done and we can organize. I cannot believe that the time has finally come. One of these three-piece sets is going to go in the other bathroom and the others. I'm going to allocate between the two drawers that I have in my bag. Why they make this glue so strong? Plastic containers, things like that, they always make the glue so strong and difficult to remove. Why? Why do we need so many labels? Inside, outside, why? This is so unnecessary. <laughs> way of putting a label on freaking engrave it next time i'm getting so hot and it's not helping the last one remember when i said that if needed i'm gonna buy more of these oh, forget about that because i refuse to unstick another one of these labels in my life i hate you okay the big drawers are all set in this drawer we have two big boxes and then a small one and a medium and in this other drawer we have three medium and three small ones i think this is plenty of space for what we have from beauty products which is really not that much this is looking so good and now these little containers that i actually hate i'm thinking how i should allocate these between the two drawers well if it would be fair it would go something like that girl guess these and the boy guess this one i mean what should we do i don't think i have a ton of products to go in there but he has even less but no we should not be that mean i think i'm gonna donate something into his drawer let's take this one and put it in here yeah i think this looks 
fair. I can negotiate one more container if he really, really wants it because I'm a nice girlfriend. And let's not even talk about the fact that I'm probably gonna use up five of this container in his drawer. Oopsie. Let's take these three baskets into the guest bathroom. Beautiful. I'm gonna leave these baskets empty for now and when we get some guests, I'm gonna fill them up. Now let's finish up our bathroom. I'm ready to fill up the containers and baskets with the stuff and I think I'm gonna do it on my bed because it just feels a lot more cozy. First, I'm gonna sort out what's in here and get rid of this guy, which makes me so happy. Thanks for the memories, pal, but it's time for you to go live in the garage. Let's do this. <laughs> Now I'm gonna sort everything into piles. Pile for skincare, nail polish, makeup, probably trash. I'm getting super tired, but we gotta keep it up. How are these called? Makeup remover pads? I seriously forgot how these are called. I don't know. Then we have Q-tips. I think these are gonna go in one of the hated containers. Then we have some makeup remover, some random skincare. Let's put it here. This product was such a waste of money. I think I paid around 700 euros for this laser hair removal thingy and it is just not working whatsoever on me. Maybe because my hair is a bit lighter, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know how to use it correctly. It was just money throw in the bin. But I'm gonna still keep it because... What do I do with it? Probably gonna put it in my boyfriend's drawer though. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> I have quite a lot of nail polish here. Two pretty big boxes. I don't use all this nail polish for every day. I only use a few shades, maybe four. And so I was thinking to store the most used nail polish in the bathroom and then the other can go in the DIY room. So now I'm gonna choose my top five to 10 that I use on everyday basis. These are my top 15 nail polish that I kind of use the most. We have some pinks, blues, mint greens, even a yellow, which I don't use at all, but I think it looks pretty in this selection. So we take it. I desperately need to go through these polishes, do a clear out. But I'm gonna tackle that when organizing a DIY room. We have hair products, hair brushes, hot hair tools, hair removal things. I hate shaving, so mostly I use this waxing spray. Then we have skincare. Some of these things were sent to me and I have yet to try them out. Two perfumes that I never use because perfume Fumes kind of make me feel sick. They give me a headache. We have toothpaste and other teeth products, some shower things. This is Epsom salt, nail polish selection, a remover, and other bits. I also have some accessories, hair ties, pins, a lot of things that I'm not using just because I don't have them on hand. I'd like to put this into the bathroom as well. I may do a selection because I don't use these kind of things anymore. So maybe I'm gonna put the fluffy things like that into the DIY storage room. I also have this big box full of makeup, but this is not the things that I'm using on everyday basis. I bought this mainly when I was making my DIY makeup videos. I have accumulated quite much, but I think this is gonna go into the DIY room as well. I have tons of crazy lipsticks because remember my old thumbnails? They were mostly lips. Right, now I'm gonna try to allocate this stuff into the baskets. Skincare is done. <laughs> There we go, everything nice and organized. The hair stuff here, skincare, teeth, hair removal and pads. Here we have stuff that I use more on an everyday basis and I also put in some towels. I have a confession to make. I've already made my way into the boyfriend's drawer, but look, these are shower products, so he's gonna be using them too. Thanks for the memories, you will not be missed. So guys, the bathroom looks so good already, but there is one last thing that is bothering me quite a lot. And that is this silicone thing on the shower doors that used to be white and is now yellow and kind of disgustingly looking. But I bought a brand new one looking fabulous. Now let's replace it. The bathroom is 
officially finished. I think changing the silicone made such a difference. Like it was bothering me for so many years. I am so happy with the decision that we bought a new one. Guys, it looks so good. How would you rate my makeover from one to 10? Be honest, I'm not gonna be mad. I'm so happy with how the bathroom turned out, but we still have the DIY room, the closet. So see you guys then, bye.